Uh, hello and welcome to the webinar. Uh, special welcome to those attending the Canadian Wood presentation for the first time. I thank you all for taking time out and being here with us today. Beautiful. The scenery, isn't it? Lovely view. But to sustain such views, we need forests. Forests are the lungs of our planet. And need not emphasize more. Wood from its nature is our best resource. So I will be talking about certification and sustainable, sustainable forest management. Uh, this is a very, very important aspect of, of uh, uh, forestry today around the globe, because if we have to have forest as a raw material for future, we need to learn how to have forestry done in a very sustainable manner. So I will take you through what is a forest, what is certification? Now, certification is a benefit and functions of the forest, including clean air, water, wildlife, plant habitat, soil, health and recreation are maintained to protect while harvesting trees. Now, this is what certification is all about. Forests are certified with a goal to protect the world's forest cover and thereby mitigate the climate change. We have uh, forest certification programs in place today around the globe, uh, covering the different forests from different countries by two very leading organizations by name of PEFC and FSC. So uh, logs or lumber from trees harvested from these forests certified by the institutions are called the certified wood. Eco-conscious international wood products Companies are now specifying and sourcing finished goods made only with certified wood from their vendors across the world. Uh, this, this brings us to Canada. So Canada, as you see here, uh, is, is a nation of forests with over 10% of the world's total forest cover. And it is also the largest exporter of lumber in the world with over 50% of it coming from its province of British Columbia on the Pacific coast. Canada happens to be a global leader in certification by a wide margin, almost three times, as you can see here, than Russia, which is second place. And Russia just happens to be barely 3.5% more than the third place region of British Columbia, a province of Canada. So you see the kind of seriousness uh, is attached to sustainable forest management by Canada. Here are some key statistics of the uh, forest statistics. 58% of Canada's total forest land out of that, only 40% is identified for harvesting and less than 1% of that is harvested every year. It does evidently positions Canada as a reliable long-term source of legally harvested certified wood to fiber deficient nations such as India. For forests to come back, reforestation is necessary. However, it is different from plantation. Under plantation, you don't have to go back to the same place with the same seeds. But under reforestation, species are planted back in the same habitat, in the same ratio, by collecting seeds in advance from the area to be harvested. Thereby, it is ensured that no alien species are planted in that soil, and the ecological balance of the forest is thus maintained. 94% of Canada's forests are publicly owned, and it mandates that three trees are planted for every tree harvested and looked after till they are fit to grow on their own, naturally. Harvesting and regenerating forests is good for the planet. Products made with wood 
store atmospheric CO2 for the tenure of their entire lifetime. In a way, certifying forests is an insurance against deforestation and loss of forest cover. I'll pause here for three minute video, which will give you an uh, overview of the forest industry function, how the forest industry functions in Canada and the sustainable forest management practice in BC Canada. Places on earth that can match the diversity and richness of Canada's forests. Forests are an important part of Canada's natural ecosystem and central to its economy making up just under half of its landscape with eight major forest regions and a vast diversity of wood species. Planting a seedling to manufacturing lumber, the forest sector in British Columbia and Canada is an interconnected industry of forest management and wood processing. This includes planting, tree harvesting with modern, high-tech machinery and sophisticated wood product manufacturing. The entire cycle is planned around responsible resource management. In British Columbia, Forestry and wood product manufacturing are a fabric of our culture, our communities, and our people. Our forests provide a sustainable supply of wood for lumber and mass timber products, while protecting our environmental and social values of wildlife, water, community, economic interests, and First Nations peoples. British Columbia is a global leader in sustainable forest management. Forestry practices in British Columbia ensure that environmental, social and economic needs are met for current and future generations. This matters to our customers and sets us apart from other supply regions globally. Wood products from British Columbia come from legal, sustainably managed forests. By law, less than 1% of the forests are harvested annually. Trees planted for every single tree harvested. This commitment to forest regeneration results in 200 million new seedlings planted every year, ensuring replenished forests for the future. Canadian wood suppliers provide certified products under the Forest Stewardship Council, FSC, and the Program for the Endorsement of Forest Certification, PFC. These strict international certification standards add additional assurance of the global protection of forest resources and make Canada a reliable and sustainable provider of wood products. State-of-the-art technology and machinery incorporated in our forestry practices and through our highly productive, efficient sawmills support the production of Canada's quality lumber. After harvesting, logs are transported to sawmills for manufacturing. At the sawmill, the logs are cut to target lengths and loaded into a debarking machine to remove the bark. Next, logs are processed through primary breakdown equipment like head rigs and chip and saws and are turned into lumber. The lumber is then sawed to specific widths and trimmed to specific lengths as it passes through secondary equipment like edgers and trimmers. A scanner will show if the lumber requires any further trimming. Next, the lumber is sorted by thickness, width, length, and sometimes by grade attribute. Yeah, it is stacked, that. which may include stacking on sticks for kiln drying. When the lumber is dry, it is ready for final processing. Some lumber goes through a planer mill to be made smooth. Whether planed or rough, the lumber is then graded and trimmed. It is sorted by size and by grade, then finally packaged for shipment. This results in the most efficient yield of the best quality lumber. Once the lumber is packaged and prepared for shipment, it is loaded onto a network of trucks and rail cars for delivery to shipping ports for distribution around the world. Independent studies confirm that the CO2 stored in wood products far outweighs any extra CO2 generated by the efficient manufacturing and shipping of Canadian lumber around the world. Lumber produced from British Columbia and Canada is durable, strong, and versatile. Superior working properties offer design flexibility and durability. Canadian lumber products can be bent, shaped, or assembled as required, making it ideal for countless indoor, outdoor, and structural applications, such as windows, doors, gazebos, and furniture like tables and chairs. Canadian wood species are also easy to face laminate. Edge glue and or finger joint and standard sizes and grades ensure that the same high quality product reaches the client each time. 
Canadian wood products bring warmth and natural beauty to an interior and exterior application or furniture product. It can be sanded to create a smooth surface, has a superior coating adherence, and can easily take any stain or finish. Across Canada and North America, wood products are influencing design and construction, not only for interior and exterior applications, but also the construction of buildings. Mass timber products are changing the way buildings are constructed, allowing for immense spans and taller buildings made of wood. Canadian wood products are being used in a wide range of buildings and products, showcasing the versatility, strength, and durability of lumber from Canadian forests. That is why using Canadian wood is a natural choice. So I hope you found the video informative. Should you want to watch it again, it is available on the YouTube. Now climate change is for real, uh, we all know that. Forests are one of the group's greatest carbon sequestering tools and sustainable forestry. Creates an endless cycle of carbon absorption and storage, something we all have a stake in. Harvesting wood ensures renewal of forests, which in turn keeps forests healthy and efficient. Old trees and aging forests not only become less efficient in absorbing CO2 and giving oxygen, but they also slowly begin releasing stored carbon dioxide when they start to decay. LCA studies consistently show that wood is better for the environment than steel or concrete or any other building material in terms of embodied energy, air and water pollution, and even greenhouse gas emissions. As you notice in the chart, for every container of lumber that is shipped to India from British Columbia, 17,498 kilograms of carbon dioxide is taken out of the environment for the life of the product. Possibly this is something which even die-hard environmentalists will acknowledge and agree. We have here now uh, five very distinct species of variety, uh, species of wood from BC Canada. Unlike most countries from temperate and colder climates, which offer just spruce and pine, Canada offers you a variety of species for a variety of different needs and applications. Some of these uh, species we have are naturally durable and they withstand not only termites, but also the natural elements and decay. The wood from Canada comes from large trees, 100 foot and taller, in many cases, rarely harvested under 100 years of age. Canadian lumber is from large girth, old growth trees, thus the wood is fine grained, mature and stable, which you can see here in the fine examples of woodworking. Showcased here are examples of products made in India using Canadian woods by manufacturers in India. Canadian wood is known as forestry innovation it is a not-for-profit crown corporation of the government of British Columbia, the westernmost province of Canada, with a mandate to promote forest products in the offshore markets. Canadian wood lumber is now available in India at 40 status points in 23 cities across India. I would like to say a big thank you from me and the team at the Canadian Wood for attending this presentation. Hope it has been informative and useful. Should you require any more information, please feel free to cross us and we will be delighted to be of any service. Have a nice day. Thank you very much.